Hi, welcome to Richman Poor Tech. I'm Richman, and in this video, it's another video to do with Karcher pressure washers. So in this video, I'm actually in the middle range of the K series. So this is the Karcher K4. Now it sits right in the middle of the Karcher K series lineup, and it's probably their most important model um, that Karcher do in their K series. It links the entry level to the top end. It has both a competitive price and a full list of features that can usually only be found on the more expensive higher end models. It's possibly Karcher's best buy. Having an advanced water cooled pump over the K2 and the K3 compares more to the K5 and the K7 in that matter. Although the K7 can handle a water inlet temperature of 60 degrees compared to the K4 and K5's 40 degrees, the water cooled pump is supposed to prolong the life over the K2 and the K3s. It has brass hose fittings, and like the cheaper models, plastic fittings, has a longer hose than that of the K2 and the K3. So that's um, with a length of 6 meters on the compact version here and eight meters on the power control versions. Uh, now that falls short of 10 meter hose on the K7 and both the K5s have eight meter hoses. The quality of the gun is also far superior than that of the K2 and the K3. And it's the first model in the Karcher series lineup that features a variable controlled lance on the compact versions. So you can definitely feel a step up in quality in both the lance and the unit itself over that of the K2 and the K3. The Karcher K4 has a lot going for it. I'd say it's the greatest value of all the Karcher pressure washers. But please check out my links below for the latest prices. As the prices do fluctuate quite often, and sometimes the K4 and the K5 can be a lot closer than the recommended retail price would suggest. Also while I'm on about it, a shameless plug for you to subscribe for free for upcoming videos on tech and other Karcher accessories and demonstrations. So back to this model. As mentioned in my other videos, it doesn't matter which version of the Karcher K series that you buy, for example, the home, the power control, uh, the compact, etc. The model numbers means that the pump characteristics are the same in that series. So that's all K2s are the same, all K3s the same, K4s the same, all the K5s the same, and as you guessed it, all the K7s are the same. The K2 pressure is 110 bar and throws 360 litres an hour. K3 is 120 bar and flows 380 litres an hour. K4 here is 130 bar and flows 420. K5 is 145 bar and flows 500, and the K7 pressure washer here I have here is uh, pressure is 180 bar and flows 550 liters per hour. So it sits right in the middle, and also the power is at uh, 1.8 kilowatts. It comes with a 5 meter power cable. The difference in the models comes actually in the casings and the storage and the accessories. So whether they have wheels, a longer hose, etc. So just to compare uh, to this K4, I have a K7 power control plus to demonstrate this. If you want to check out my other videos on either the budget end Karcher K2 um, or the more expensive Karcher K7, then there should be a link here above. So home models have a tracer for patios, etc., and the power control models have a dirt blaster lance. But this is standard across the uh, models sold here in the UK. The car models also come with a detergent accessory lance, so a bit like this uh, Auto Gleam uh, snow foam lance, but it's actually a cheaper quality than that one. Um, so the model I'm showing you here is the K4 Compact, but remember it has the same cleaning characteristics and pump and flow as the K4, as the K4 Power Control. The Compact version is smaller, more manoeuvrable, and is easier to store, where the Control comes with better storage, um, has a longer high pressure hose, and if it's a premium version, uh, you also get a hose wheel, which is uh, very handy. And also detergents on those can also be dropped in, like so. Whereas on the compact versions, you have to pull and place the detergent uh, into the bottle through the hose. The increase in flow and pressure is noticeable over the lesser models too, and you have a great cleaning for around the house. It's also, variable, uh, it's also very capable of cleaning a car. As a market leader in pressure washers, the K-Series has lots of accessories, whether it's Karcher's own or other th uh, third parties, like this Autogleam snow foam lance, for example. Now I'll be showing some of these in, upcoming, in the upcoming weeks on this channel, so please like and subscribe for free and uh, you see some videos on that. So onto a quick demonstration of this machine. So the K4, you have the hose connector at the top, you have a hose, so it's got the higher quality, as I just show you, um, brass fittings compared to something like the K2 which has the plastic uh, fittings. So you get the high quality um, fittings on the uh, K4 upwards. Um, so this hose, and I'll, I'll show you that in a second. So you've got the hose connection on the top, 
You have the water inlet comes in on the side here. Um, with this model, you can also lay it flat on its back when you're using it. Now, out comes the tube from the side. So if you've got like a, a bigger um, container full of cleaning solution, you just, you just pop that into the solution and then that will suck it up from there. Um, obviously, you can have uh, the dropping uh, solutions, which you can still use with these. Um, but I'll just show you if it was the uh, power control home version, how much easier it is just to drop the uh, solution into them. So, obviously this one's got wheels. Um, in the back you've got a, a slot for storing your dirt blaster lamp, your variable lamp, and obviously the gun itself. So the handle on top just goes up there. So I'll just put it on the floor so you can sort of see. It's about, uh, I don't know, like one of those little shopping trolleys sizes. So I'll just turn it round face on. So we'll just connect this up. So the water, now I've got uh, Karcher's own uh, connectors here. Uh, but you can use things like um, hose locks, etc. So it's a universal fit in. So I'll just connect that on. Um, we're not going to use any cleaning solution, so I'll just push this cleaning hose back. So to get to the gun. So you, obviously, as you saw earlier, you can store it around the, the front there, but you know it's not actually quite as uh, as good as what it looks like on the box. So. Push down, pull up, and then that's locked in place on the top of the machine. Onto the gun end, it's a bit more like the um, K7s and all that, where it's just like a, a pushing connection as opposed to like the cheaper end that has like a clip. So this goes in. Uh, this has actually got a flat edge. So if you look into your gun, you can actually see which way it goes, so it just goes into the flat edge and just clips in as easy as that. Now I'll just, you can feel like with the gun just being that much more quality, say over this one on the K2 for example. So and you get the, um, the lance, plug it in, but before you turn on the device you want to run some water through it first. So before you turn the power onto the device, you want to expel the air in the hose pipe. This also prolongs the life of your motor. I don't know if you just heard the air escaping there. So you can just hear some of the air just still going through and you can just see it bubbling through there. So you just want to make sure the uh, motor's clear first. Then you can just turn on. I'm just going to put this on the floor so it doesn't vibrate off. So on the lance itself, you've got hard and soft. So if you rotate it round the way the arrows point in, you get more power. If you point it the way of the soft, obviously you get less power, which is usually what you'd use if you're using some chemicals. So if you want more power, obviously take off that lance, use the power uh, the dirt blaster lance, and I'll do this patio piece. So, and obviously, if you've got a tracer or something else, then uh, obviously you might decide to use that. That will stop you getting any splashes up back on your legs. And to pack away. Turn off the water, turn off the power. So once you turn off the water and the power, just pull the trigger, just release the pressure in your device and uh, you're good to start dismantling and packing away. So to remove this off the gun, you just press the yellow tab in, 
and then just pull the hose out. And then these obviously just all push in back on your device. For the hose on the top, you just push down and pull out. So my review on the K4. The K4 is the first pressure washer in the Karcher lineup that I'd fully recommend, not taking into account price. The K2, for example, is good at a price, but you definitely have more expensive uh, quality parts on the K4 upwards, and you can definitely feel the difference. It's more compact compared to, say, like the K7 I have here in both the power control versions and the compact version that I have here. It's easy to store away and it's a lot lighter for you to transport around your house or in your car, for example. And if you have limited outdoor power, then the wattage may also be a benefit to you. The pressure and flow is good enough for most car cleaners, house and home and DIY tasks. And the value for what you get is also superb. There's obviously more power in the K4 and the K7, which makes those versions quicker to use. And the K7 here is my own personal favourite. But the K4 can tackle most of your home jobs with ease. So check out the prices in my links below and subscribe and I'll see you in my next, in my next upcoming video. Thanks for watching.